Hello everyone, welcome back to the homestead. I have a breakfast idea to share with you today as well as a homestead project. But first I wanted to give a quick update on the goslings. So in a recent video you saw how we rescued a few goslings that kind of got separated from their mother in a storm. Uh, those ones we actually put in with another mom because the original mom was wanting to just stay sitting on her nest and so those little babies just weren't being taken care of. So another mama adopted them and we had all of the smaller hatches of goslings together in an old chicken coop. Well recently we had another big storm and the entire coop flooded. We had to rescue 10 little baby goslings that night. Unfortunately that mother would not accept the babies back the next day so we've been taking care of a bunch of goslings, bringing them in at night and then putting them in various places out in the garden beds where we don't yet have things growing. So we're really thankful we didn't lose them all in that storm the other night and most of them are doing pretty well but it is a bit of extra work <laughs> taking care of the little babies. <laughs> So a breakfast idea that I've been using for a while now, um, we only have it usually once a week because it does have raw oats and oats really are best um, soaked or cooked, but um, I'm sure there's benefits for raw oats as well. So anyway, it's a really quick and easy alternative to boxed cereal. I don't know about you, but I used to be a huge fan of boxed cereals. It was one of my favorite things for breakfast, for snack, for dinner, any time of day. But most boxed cereals are just either not healthy at all or very very expensive uh, so I really like this alternative and a lot of these products I can get for really good price in bulk through Azure Standard um, and if you have not heard of Azure Standard or are interested in it at all please check out the link in the description below that's my personal referral link so I do get a credit uh, for anyone who signs up with Azure Standard through that link so that would help me out. The ingredients are really simple. I just put together uh, oat flakes, toasted coconut flakes, blanched almond slivers, raw honey to taste, a little bit of MCT oil, peanut butter, a dash of sea salt, and dark chocolate chips. I don't have measurements. It's all just according to preference and taste. Uh, mix it all together and add some fresh milk to it. It makes a really quick and easy breakfast. And then sometimes if I have collagen protein on hand, I will add the collagen protein to give a little extra protein in there as well. Um, and another fun alternative to this cereal, in place of the peanut butter and the dark chocolate chips, you could add like dried cranberries or raisins and cinnamon or some kind of pumpkin pie spice. That's another good variation that we all really enjoy. All right, so now on to the homestead project. If you've been following our channel, you know we've been working on a sawdust bin in our backyard here because we use a composting toilet. So we really rely on sawdust heavily. And our sawdust has just been out on the ground. It's been a lot of extra work to try and keep it covered when it rains. So we're building a bin that will be covered and protected from the rain and it'll be super easy access to refill our sawdust. So yesterday we were finally able to pour the slab. We wanted to have the whole thing up off the ground to help keep it even more dry and clean and so we did a 5 by 10 slab using Quickcrete. <laughs> so this was a totally new experience for us. We watched a few YouTube videos on it to get some ideas. Uh, we have used Quickcrete to make cobblestone pathways in the past, so we do have a little bit of experience, but not in doing a larger slab. Uh, we did create a video in the past on how we do the cobblestone walkways, so if you're interested in that, check out the link above for that. Plan A was to empty the first lower level of the slab, so about two inches worth of dry quickcrete, um, and just level that out with a rake, then water it in, and on top of that add our metal support, and then we were gonna lay in the whole top layer dry, and use a mister to water that in. Well, we realized kind of last minute that our mister was broken, and we weren't sure if just a regular hose would be too powerful on that delicate surface so to speak we wanted to make sure we got a nice clean smooth surface so we went with plan b which was for the top layer to pre-mix the quickcrete in our wagon and just dump that in in sections leveling out one section at a time on top of the other layer so once we got into the project we actually discovered that our two-way connect valve for a hose kind of worked as a mister uh, but we had already gone ahead with plan B so we just stuck with that and it actually worked really well um, so we'd like to share how that whole process went with you 
And then also we got a bonus. <laughs> we ended up having a little bit of extra quick crete. So we had already formed up a little space in a cobblestone area here behind me that's gonna be for our rose. Uh, we're gonna build like a little se seating area with a pergola uh, for our rose to climb up over. And we were able to use the extra quick crete to create a, a little cobblestone area. So I will take you back to yesterday now. may look small, but she is really strong. <laughs> Girls watching? Here's someone else who looks small, but is very strong. These are 60 pound bags. Probably be able to carry those bags when I'm up to nine, maybe. Teamwork! <laughs> so it's not very often that you set out to do a project and you end up actually accomplishing more <laughs> than than you wanted to, at least not for us. So that was a big blessing to be able to get the little bit of cobblestone done yesterday as well. If any of you have experience using Quickcrete and have any tips for us, um, things that we could have done differently to make the project go better, please let us know in the comments below. Before we go, Nathan has a couple thank yous to give. Thank you to Larry B for this new level. And to Jill for the super encouraging card and the money gift. And thank you as always to our patrons who make these videos possible. Until next time, we pray blessings over you and yours. And whatever you do, do it with your whole heart.